Hello and welcome to my video introduction for Civi CRM. My name is Stuart and I've been working with websites and programming since 1998. I got involved in the nonprofit sector in the mid 2000s and went into business for myself and started working with Civi CRM shortly thereafter. I'm not formally affiliated with Civi CRM, but I am a member of the community and I work with Civi CRM software on a very regular basis. All of the opinions I express in this video are mine and mine alone. What is Civi CRM? Well, it's basically an online database that allows your nonprofit organization to communicate and interact directly with the public, as well as gives your internal staff the ability to manage and sort the data that you collect online, all in one place. Civi CRM is web software, and it's integrated with a content management system for your website, such as Drupal or Joomla. Civi CRM is maintained by a group of developers who volunteer their time and are also sponsored by organizations like yours to improve and expand upon Civi CRM uh, functionality for everyone. And that's how Civi CRM has been growing for the last few years and how it will continue to grow. Civi CRM technical requirements are listed here on the website. They are uh, robust and should be paid attention to, and all the features are also listed at civicrm.org. So let's look at a few examples of how CiviCRM could interact with the public. You could make a CiviCRM form to collect membership data, and people could pay to become a member with your organization online. CiviCRM can handle event registration as well as event payments, and of course donations. CiviCRM also has functionality for case management as well as bulk emailing. Once all the data is collected, CiviCRM provides a secure back-end administrator interface for your internal staff so that you can see all of the people who have interacted with your organization, learn about them, and see what they have done. For instance, you could see if they've contributed lately, are they a member, coming to any events, are they related to any other contacts? Now, in addition to that, your staff could sort the contacts on a variety of different criteria, put them in easily accessible groups, and generate reports. There's a large number of reports built in with Civi CRM, and you can make your own. Okay, so that's what Civi CRM can do. It's an online web database that allows your staff to sort data and keep it all in one location. You can import as well. And it allows members of the public to interact with your organization. Is Civi CRM right for you? Well, in my opinion, if you're a small to mid-sized nonprofit and you've got your online efforts spread out all over the place and it's driving you a little nuts, Civi CRM could be right for you. If your organization is ready for change, not just the management, not just the people in the office who work on the data every day, but if everyone agrees that things aren't working very well and it's time for change, Civi CRM is right for you. If you have a modest budget to get started, Civi CRM could be the software for you. And if you're willing to accept that Civi CRM is an open source community with software that's constantly improving every version, they fix a variety of issues and make a variety of improvements, but every version has a few issues. So if you're willing to join the community and contribute, Civi CRM could be right for you. If Civi CRM does 80% of what you want it to do right out of the box, I think Civi CRM could be good software for you. If it does less than that, maybe not. That kind of segues into why is Civi CRM not right for you. Here's an informal list. If you're not a nonprofit, Civi CRM is probably not right for you. If you're only considering Civi CRM because it's free and you're tired of paying 50 bucks a month to content, constant contact, probably not right for you. If you're a multi-billion dollar charity, mm, probably not right. If you're uh, not willing to change hosting packages, probably not right. And if Civi CRM does less than 80% of what you want it to do right out of the box, you're looking at a lot of customization costs. And unless you have a huge budget, it's probably not right for you. What now? Well, Civi CRM requires a list of requirements. <laughs> and then you'll compare that to what Civi CRM already does. Hire a professional or learn online, and then develop a budget, gather your data that you want to import, and you can hire someone, set a date, get a server, and get going. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Take care.